right, so welcome. It's March 3rd. We're in the mix of our last few weeks of preparation till competition season. And um, let's talk about the schedule of competition season. I, I put together a little bit of a PowerPoint. Um, Andy, I don't think you're sharing your screen. Can you need to help it. There we go. All right, everyone can see general start. Okay, can't see my screen, let me know. Um, so we need to talk about schedule. We probably should talk about Open Alliance. We kind of let it go a little bit. We need to get back on it. Uh, impact award, we have to have a presentation team. We'll, we'll talk about that in, in a moment. And then just to-do list, strategy, a lot, a lot of things to do. Um, so weekly schedule, this is just kind of a copy of our normal schedule. I think we're going to be mostly normal. The only thing is that Friday likely are, are not going to happen. Um, so let me just move the screen here. So Fridays are, I don't know, spring break's a little weird with HISD. So, um, I think we're going to need to think about like getting a lot of the stuff we need out before Friday night, because I would imagine that they're going to be closing the schools down on Friday night. Um, so we, we might be holding on to a lot of stuff and for the week of spring break, we just have it somewhere that we can get to it. that's not in a school because everything will be closed down. So start thinking about what you need and make sure we have everything to, to run the robots and, be functional over that week of spring break. I know last year we had meetings in your garage and at Carl's place uh, to work on the robot. Are we going to do something kind of like that again this year? And like, what's the availability looking like for you guys? And if if we can, I know we went to uh, Torque last year as well. Do you know if they have open labs or what's going on with that? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of places we could practice. Um, let's let's save that for a moment because I don't know all the right answers. Let's look generally at the schedule. I got this next slide going on. So you know, this next week we need to have all the right items picked up. So we need to plan a schedule to make sure all that stuff goes. Maybe Thursday maybe Wednesday. I'm not sure whatever works best for people's schedules. Um, and then spring break is, you know, that whole week. And we'll, we'll kind of get into some details of what, what, what the plans will be. Um, and may, maybe we'll save this to the end here and talk about who's going to be available. Um, I'll just make some notes that maybe we should make a spring break just note slide availability. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that. But I just want to go over the general schedule. So we have the week of spring break, then we come back for a week, and then um, this is Friday night. It's a, it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. So for those of you who haven't done district events, Everything kind of starts after school ends on Friday. We go Friday night at like, let's say five o'clock until almost like nine, nine thirty. Um, so it, it's a pretty long night and we go through inspection. We get the robot all tuned up, load everything in. And then Saturday at like 10 AM matches start. Uh, and it's going to be a long Saturday because it starts early in the morning and just keeps going and they run behind, it just goes and goes. So we usually do lunch and dinner on Saturday. And then Sunday is the final competition day. Um, and it's going to be like a line selection in the afternoon, kind of like what we were watching this weekend. And then if we make, you know, go far, like they could go to four or five o'clock on a Sunday. And we usually want to stick around for like awards. So, both Saturdays and Sundays are going to be long, so definitely talk to your parents. And if, you, if you're not available for these days, it's good that we start talking about that as well. And maybe we'll just, maybe we'll do a combined, maybe we'll make a whole other slide that's just 
competition availability because um, we do need to make sure whoever's going to be, if you know you're not going to be available for the competitions, we need to talk about that. Maybe we'll make a list right now. So start thinking about that. And then the next weekend, back to back, it changes. It goes from a Thursday night um, event to a all day Friday, most of the day Saturday, and then nothing on Sunday. Um, and that's Easter weekend, I think. So it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's, it's very important they're not doing it on Sunday. I think we have a major issue. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to cause some, some issues with schedules, I'm certain. And then if we qualify, state championship is the following weekend. And then w world championship is what I would call week eight. So there's nothing happening on week seven. And these are all both in Houston. So it's a huge uh, advantage for us in terms of budget and travel so if we can qualify. Um, any overall schedule questions? Am I missing something? You guys have any issues with this? There's a lot of details in spring break that we haven't worked out, so I, I get that. We need to plan out the actual days. And even, even this week, we need to plan out when we're loading everything out and, and what we're doing. Right. Okay, that's just the general. Um, let's just hit some of the big components and then we'll go into a build. Well, actually, while we're talking about it, maybe I'll skip ahead. So, who's going to be around during spring break? Or who's not going to be traveling that week? Anyone here? I think we're all here. I might be gone for a day somewhere at some point in the week. Yeah, Greg, Greg and I, Greg and I are also unsure because our parents have been talking about something over spring break, but they like haven't planned it. So, I mean, at, at worst, it's gonna be like two or three days, so it shouldn't be that bad. Like, they should be fine. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same with me. I should be here. Next of them might be gone for like one or two days. Okay, it doesn't sound like anyone's planning to leave for a week and travel somewhere nice and not be available. So. I'll just put everyone's name that's here. At least our tournament isn't the weekend before spring break this time. Yeah, it makes it a little better. Um, so I think that's most of the students that are here. All right, great. Um, so we don't have any hard not availables. I'm sure there's going to be some. We just don't know. Uh, there's no one on the call. Three. Um, what about competition availability? So we have March 22 to 24. Does anyone have any major conflicts that they can think of? Doesn't that, you don't have to know all these answers right now. I'm just putting them down so you can start thinking about it. Go ahead. So on the competition for the, the first one, at what time are we going to start unpacking stuff? Like meeting, like putting stuff, like at what time is the competition going to start, basically? It's going to end, like start. the last day on the, um, depends on when we get knocked out. I mean, if we get knocked out early, we, we pack up everything and we can stay around for awards if we want. Some people just leave. So, okay. Um, if you're not available past like three or four o'clock, it's good to know. Um, so just let me know. I mean, you can send me messages later. If I just I want to see if anybody is really like not available. Okay. Not available. It's really what we need to know. Because we need to use that factors in the determining who's going to be on the drive team. Um, All right. You're definitely going to be out that weekend because it's going to affect how. We're so something comes up, let me know. So far, it sounds like no one will call. No one on three, three call is, or everyone is available. So far. And that could change. I get it. Okay. Um, let's go to, 
I think we actually need to make this into the drive team. So I think we should go ahead and start talking about this now. Um, so we talked about not having seniors on the as the driver. Um, we're still very open since we haven't really practiced much. So driver is going to be a non-senior and available for all the events. Uh, all events, able to handle pressure. It's a lot of pressure right now. Like potentially operating the uh, indexer, the um, shooter, maybe the climber. So buttons, joysticks, it does, they do everything, um, have access to most everything that's non-swerve. That's the only thing that the operator really does. I think one thing we should have said for the operator is that they should be good friends or in good relationship with the driver just to limit any sort of like disagreements that can come up there. Call it technician. We'll just call it tech. And then coach. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think we're going to have all this worked out on exactly who this is going to be. I just want everyone to be aware of like what's happening. Um, it's really, really helpful to have somebody that does programming on this group because if we have programming issues, if we have someone on this group on the field, it makes a big difference. Um, I'm going to nominate in terms of coaches, like we have some, some mentors, but I also want to nominate Sid and Greg. I think they could make excellent coaches. They've done this a lot. I think they can help. I really like that'd be my preference is have Sid and Greg do this. I just don't want them to feel um, stretched out. So maybe the first few matches we work closely to get them going the right direction, and then from there they might take over as as the coach, alternating or whoever just wants to take it on. Um, human player can rotate a lot. We can have a, a variety. I think because there's like a shot selection that we might or might not take, um, you know. It could be a variety of people, but we'll, we'll figure stuff out. Um, the important ones are driver, operator, the coach. A technician is not um, in the drive box or the driver station. He just uh, loads the robot. And, and this can be a, a variety of people as well. Um, so everyone gets a chance to kind of be part of it and see how it works. Uh, I think the big part about the tech is it's helpful if they can lift the robot and, and help on that. So, um, so yeah, that's that's the overview of the drive team. We do need to get all these kind of worked out, and I think uh, within the next two weeks we we will have kind of an A drive team and maybe a B drive team, a backup. Um, so we'll we'll have all those roles played out, and I imagine it'll be most of who's on here and who's been going to a lot of the meetings because you got to know the robot and have to have worked on it quite a bit. Um, any questions? All right, so we'll, we'll save some of that. Um, that's kind of just my high level plan. Uh, and then obviously we have our programming team that's just going to be working all the time. They're going to be very important to the competition, getting autonomous, getting a lot of things working. Um, CAD might slow down a little bit because we're not really making any changes. Um, so CAD mechanical will start to blend together. And we might have a, well, we're definitely going to have a, a pit team. So we haven't really talked about the pit, but that'll be like, um, maybe, maybe we'll switch out a mechanical. We don't really need this right now. Mechanical will be also like the pit. Um, so we have what's called a safety captain. And, you know, that role is to just make sure we're safe in our pit and follow some of the regulations so we don't get in trouble with the event venue. Um, and then we have to, we can't have the pit too crowded, so we, it's good to keep it clean, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, if 
we'll talk more about this. We'll assign roles. We'll get into that. I, I don't think it makes sense to try to work it all out right now um, because it's still, we just haven't done enough testing to figure out who, who's ready for this. Uh, Open Alliance, uh, I asked Sawmill. I know he's going out of the country if he could do some stuff while he's out. Uh, what side between Greg and Sid, you guys should try to post something, even if it's just like, you know, we had a failed I'm, I'm working on our uh, that kind of summarizes what we've been doing as a team. Yeah. Yeah, so. Just little thing. It doesn't have to be anywhere near the size. Of yeah. Our part failed. This is how we fixed it. Everybody wants you know, the new cat. Post a new cat. More hmm. team. This is another team that we need to. So, someone who is used to doing uh, presentations, we're gonna need um, two to three people, uh, three presenters that will be uh, speaking to judges for at least you know, 10 minutes presentation. And um, so everyone's welcome to do that. The only people that I think we don't really need to do this is probably non-seniors, unless they wanna just maybe one senior, but I'd, I'd, I'd rather prefer non-seniors just so we get some continuity and people know what they want to do next year on it. Um, the seniors can help prep about that to get people ready, but um, if, if that's something you want to do, come reach out to me. Uh, this presentation is going to happen at both events. So they'll schedule some time and during the competition, so both uh, district events will have a presentation. Um, and then once it's over, you don't have to do anything else with it at the end of the day. Um, we also need to get a video kind of set up for impact. So if you like working on videos, reach out to me on that. We got to kind of get that rolling. Um, we got to develop some slides and stuff. So if you're interested in being on that group, please let me know. We need to start getting things ready for that. Um, there's a lot of other non-robot stuff. We'll probably skip the website for now. I think we've got too much stuff to do. Um, we do need to get shirts made really quickly here. Shirt order. I know Sid and I, Sid has been pestering me and I, I have been slacking on it. So keep pestering me. Let's get it. Ordered. And can, you, can we add some hoodies to the, to the shirt order? Just with the same. Shirts and hoodies. Usually, if we're pressing less than two weeks, it's going to be tight. So we got to get it done soon, um, and then maybe talk about awards and the pit pit design. What we're having. Um, okay, so we did availability. Uh, I just have a quick to do list. Um, I think we got to just kind of break down into what people want to talk about. I think I'll stop sharing and maybe we'll, we'll do CAD from here. Um, if somebody want to take over. Go ahead, Puzzle. All right. Um, I can, I can, I'll, I'll share my screen with the almost finalized um, Climber design. 